So here we go. Um, obviously, this came with a couple goodies with it as a field tester. There's a sweatshirt in here, which is nice. Um, put that over there. Nice Weatherflow sweatshirt. It's got Weatherflow down the sleeve. That's nice. There's also a, a tumbler in here, which is kind of interesting because the tumbler looks about the same shape as the Weather Station. So love that. Thank you, Weatherflow. That's a cool perk. Um, we'll pull this out here. I'm going to put it on the table. That's the actual station. It looks like we've got some hardware here. It looks like the hub, um, some power supplies, a mount, and a plug. So let me move this off to the side here, and we'll see real quickly here. So this is the mount I can tell right away, and this is the hub. Um, we'll put this, move this out of here. So this is the hub, um, which connects to your Wi-Fi in your house. Um, there's your connection. And the cool thing is, last time, I don't think they sent me um, a plug, but the nice thing is, it got a million iPhone and other USB plugs. Um, and a cable, looks like a USB-C that they're using. Um, and let's un un unwrap this baby right here. So there it is. That's the new Weatherflow Tempest weather station. Um, pretty excited here because Here's the cool thing, it's got solar panels built onto it. You could see them wrapped around. Now notice how they're only really on one side. Now you're probably wondering why is that? Well, this is gonna be facing due north, so the solar panels obviously are gonna be on the south side so they get the most sun. And when you put this on your roof or wherever you mount it, you see this little thing right here? That's due north, so this has gotta face due north so that you get correct wind speed and direction. Couple things to notice, this is an ultrasonic anemometer. You see those little sensors in there? So what happens is, as air flows through here and disrupts the the, the sensors, it, it measures the wind speed. Now the cool thing about this is there's no moving parts and because uh, unlike anemometers that have to move, it takes a little bit of wind initially to get them to spin, so you're losing some of the low end wind speed. So because you don't have that, um, you don't need any initial push to get it moving, you're going to get more accurate measurements. Um, the top plate, that's a UV sensor right there, so we'll get UV light. This pressure plate here is called a haptic rain gauge. So as raindrops hit it, it senses that, knows it's raining. It runs really complex algorithms, which I've been impressed have been updated all the time and they're self-correcting, where they measure the size of the drops, how many hit it, and it calculates how much rain is falling. Now, I, I correlate this with my Kokora's rain gauge, which is out back, and initially there was about a 20 25% difference um, where this was, I would say, uh, overestimating rainfall, that is now down to about, I'd say, a 5 or 6% tolerance. Um, so the air is very close, which is pretty good considering there's no moving parts. I never have to go look at this or measure anything. Also in here um, is the, is, excuse me, the hygrometer and thermometer with a radiation shield. So everything is built into one system. This is the entire weather station in one piece, folks. I mean, there's no separate rain gauges. There's no, and there's no, no plugs or anything. You only plug this in your house. This connects wirelessly to that. Because of the solar panels, you should never have to mess with this. Um, this mount is a one inch mount, which you can put on a pole. Um, you can also see the key lock there, which locks it in. It's also got a threaded tripod mount, which is kind of nice. So if you want to make it mobile and take it with you, um, but I'll put this on my roof next to my other one and we'll see how it goes. Um, I love the uh, Weatherflow weather stations because you don't need a computer. You just need Wi-Fi in your house and this hub. You use the app and connect everything and you're off and going. I'll do more videos about this process, but I'm really excited to try this new weather station out. I think this is going to be the consumer weather station of the future. No moving parts, super accurate, super easy to set up. And the cool thing about easy setup to me is that means more people can get them. You don't have to be super tech savvy to get these weather stations and use them. They can integrate with your house and your smart systems. I actually have it connected with my Alexa. I can ask what's the weather outside my house. It gives me not the temperature from the airport, but the temperature so in my backyard. Sure and there's Alexa trying to tell me what's going on. So <laughs> more videos to come. Stay tuned for more weather flow temp